Okay, we're back doing some muscle testing with the handheld dynamometer. Now, today, it's about the knee, and especially post-operative ACLs that have had a hamstring graft, to test out how they're going with their muscle strength of quads, hammies, and glutes. We're gonna start with the quads. Now, the way we do this is in a range. So, with the Joe here, we're gonna pop him over a foam roll. That's the easiest thing to do, because he's gonna then hinge up. If you do some knee extension, he's gonna do that movement, but it's isometric against this. So we're gonna test out what his isometric strength is, left versus right, against this when he's in that inner range quads position. Now, the good thing about this little device, which we use in the clinic a lot, is that's Bluetooth to the phone. So the patient can actually see the readout on there, and we can record that in kilograms left versus right. So it's a really good way of the actual patient seeing where they are at, especially when you're trying to get them to return to sport. So for this one, what we're going to do is we tap this and get that ready, yep, and he's going to resist against here and push the start button on there, and you can see where that kilogram numbers coming up okay and you might do a few of these to try and get it you know a rough guide and get them used to it and we're aiming for maybe the third one and then we're going to test the other side so i'm going to push down in here he's going to do knee extension we're going to record that as hard as he can he's up to around about 30 we'll get an average what's the peak force 32 okay so we're going to try that one more time and then we're going to test the other leg so where you go again joe push it up He's got to try really hard on this. And down again, 35. So he's almost getting better every time we do it. Now, we'll go and test his other leg. And the, what you'll see is obviously there's going to be a difference with people who've got ACL reconstructive surgery issues. We'll try that one, see how he's going. And what did we get? 42. 42. A lot stronger than that one. Let's try that one again. Up he goes making sure he doesn't move from that isometric position. He contracts the whole way through that cycle. How are we going now? 48, he's getting better on this leg. And he goes again, pushing up. Holding it there. That's really good. And then relaxing. Okay, so he's getting better with that one. Now, there's a discrepancy there. Now, that's the sort of thing that, you know, as a physio, you want to be able to test to see it, what problems have they still got going and what you need to work on plus making sure that you know if you've got a, a Measurement where they're going to return to sport are they within the appropriate percentage to be able to do the next stage of activity? So that's your inner range core ones. Then we're going to work on some hamstrings now hamstrings is easy as well You get them on their front the good thing about hamstrings is you can actually sort of test them in two different positions with this So what we like doing is going into that 90 degree position first so into here and of course you've got to be careful with people with you know, who've had a hamstring graft, are they actually ready for this test? So you've got to time that testing as well. But for this, again, this dyno is going to go on the back of the shin now, so into there, and he's going to do a isometric hamstring curl, so knee flexion, using his hammies up to as hard as he can. So I'm just going to get this set up here, and away you go, Joe. So you hold him as hard as you can. He has to go through right through all those seconds, and then take it off. Now obviously we don't want him cramping or anything like that. You may have to warm up to get this. So the first one might not be his peak. Then you do the second one. And he's away, go again, go again, Joe. Pull it up, go, 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 keep going. And he lets go. Now you've got to make sure that they actually get to as, as long as they can. So if you've set it at six seconds, they go through right through that six seconds to get that peak force. He's sitting at 12. We'll do one more for you, Joe. And go again. Go. Keep going. 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 Good. And he gets to 16. So that's his right one. Then we're going to test what he's doing on his left one. It's always important, obviously, that you test both sides. And you might need to swap the hands on this one to keep it even. Are you ready, Joe? And away we go again. Go, 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 go. So again, just resisting him right at 90 degrees, making sure you can handle it. Relax, good, there you go, and go again, go, go, go. So really pulling it on, that really nice isometric hold, yeah, okay, yeah. good, and one more, go, 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 and then trying to work out. Now, you may find you have to watch with the cramping with this one because hamstrings are a little bit more dicey, especially that 
one that's had surgery. But that's the best way to work on left versus right with hamstrings. Of course, if you want to go one step further and go for outer range, because some hamstrings are good on the inner range or the mid range there, but really weak on the outer. And that's where you'd have them going in this position here. Hold it there for me, Joe. And pushing up in that position and trying not, if I start it again, trying not to let that drop and really work on that face there and seeing whether is there a problem, an outer range problem, is there a problem, more of a mid range problem, okay? So that is your two hamstring ones. Then we want to work on your glutes. If you go to your side for me, Joe. Now this one we work on namely hip abduction, okay? The thing with hip abduction, you want to make sure that they are when they're coming up, it's an isometric contraction again. You really got to sort of feel also that they actually get a good contraction here, that they're working on this, and they're not cheating and letting that hip go forward. So you really want to be very much neutral foot up and down, but when they're in this position, a little bit of extension will help. Okay, so just trying to hold that position and making sure that that position is going to be the same as the other side. Again, down on the shin for this one, working on getting that. Dino set up, and then pushing and go, 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 working on that glute, really try to hold that contraction for the six seconds, and then down, and you'll get that readout on this one as well, the same thing. And again, trying to work on three sets of that, so let's show you that again. So up into neutral, little bit of extension, making sure they hold it there, get them all set up, push that start button, and away you go. And then just watch them and keep them going, just tell them, keep go, 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 to get that peak force and see what it comes up with. So again, there's your glutes, and obviously left and right with that, and that's your ACL testing.